watch our inaugural running of the Bulls. Uh, it's kind of an interesting sport to be putting on as a humane society, dealing with purebred contestants. But with the running of the Bulls, we also recognize the fact that we're kind of dealing with three breeds that maybe should not be doing any long distance, um, long endurance runs or anything like that. So I'd like to have uh, one of the veterinarians from Veterinary Reservals, Veterinary Referral Services, to come on out and um, give a little educational talk about specifically Bulldogs, Frenchies, and Dachshunds as well, as some of their um, challenges uh, physically that can occur because they do have those amazing, adorable shaped bodies that makes these races so much fun. Uh, so come on out and give a little Give us a little rundown. <laughs> okay, um, my name's uh, Stephen Stockdale. So yeah, representing the Veterinary Referral Center through the ambulance back there. Um, but we are a, a multi-specialty hospital in town. So we have surgery specialty, internal medicine, oncology, etc. Um, and we were graciously asked to come and support this event, which we we're happy to be here. Uh, as you all know, dachshunds, French bulldogs, very cute little animals. You may have heard a time or two, they've got these little fragile backs that you're probably aware of. In the past, it was always the dachshunds that got the bad rap, but these days we kind of see the, the French Bulldogs are taking the the, uh, the podium for back injuries. So I would just be cautious with the, the big athletic events. I think a lot of people ask how to prevent back injuries in these, in these animals. And at the end of the day, I don't think there's really a magic pill or vitamin or anything that we can give them. Uh, I think the best advice I give to clients who have who have dealt with a back injury in these breeds is really just keeping them lean and fit um, a fragile back with a lot of extra weight on it is even more susceptible to injury so be cautious with the big explosive movements you know today is going to be a really fun event having these short controlled distances uh, but I think the best thing we can do is, is really just kind of keep them as healthy as possible um, if for some reason they are showing issues with you know, hind limb weakness lameness things like that um, you don't want to necessarily have to see us, but if you do need to, we're there 24 hours a day for you. Um, the other thing unrelated, just with the French Bulldogs and smush face breeds, just be really cautious with hot weather. Today's a perfect day for running around with it being kind of a cool fall weather day, but if this was an, a summer event, we'd want to be really cautious with overheating and things like that. So um, if you have any questions, we're over at the booth over here. We can help educate as needed. And uh, thanks for being here. All right, well, that being said, the this is the Wiener Dog Are Day. Are you ready? Oh, this is it. What do we got? We got orange tag and match your colored bandana to the marking on the ground there. These heats are a little bit more compact. There's a, lot, there's a couple more in each heat. Who's that? <laughs> I had to! You did, that was perfect. Okay, do we have a orange tag with a blue bandana? Oh, there we go. Okay. Orange tag, blue Bring bandana. There we go. Marco! 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 Okay. Let's just make sure everybody's in place. Dogs, take your place. Catchers, are you ready? 